Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Eric Lee. I am a Mayan Lab bioinformatics trainee, and today I'm presenting the project Gene Shorts, which focuses on the automated generation of informational videos from CFDE human gene data. Let's start with a little bit of background on the CFDE as well as their data coordinating centers. The Common Fund Data Ecosystem, or CFDE, is a part of the NIH Common Fund programs, and it's designed with the mission to make biomedical research knowledge generated from various Common Fund programs fair. That's findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. One of the key steps in this mission is to consolidate data across Data Coordinating Centers, or DCCs, each of which stores a unique aspect of human genome research. For example, some DCCs focus on RNA-seq data, while others focus on clinical observations. To do this, the CFDE supports the creation of tools and resources that enhance or combine these existing information sources, enabling collaboration, hypothesis generation, and ultimately further research. The motivation for this project, then, is to promote the use and integration of common fund data sets while also expanding the collection of tools that present information from various common fund programs. We believe that short overview style videos allow the dense information spread across this ecosystem to be easily digestible. Since there are more than 20,000 genes in the human genome and the information is spread across these various programs shown on the slide, manual creation of these short videos is unrealistic. That's where Gene Shorts comes in. The deliverable for this project is to create a pipeline which enables the automatic generation of informational short videos about common fund knowledge on particular genes. With this comes four main goals. First, these videos will present CFDE human gene information by aggregating data across CFDE workbench partner programs. This will in turn showcase various CFDE projects and data sets, as well as their primary research focus. By featuring these key takeaways across a breadth of research areas, this video format will make complex genomic knowledge more digestible and increase engagement with these resources. And lastly, by contributing to multimedia scientific communication, Gene Shorts will be another option for exploring CFDE data. Let's take a closer look at what a Gene Shorts is. Every Gene Short is an automatically generated 1 to 1.5 minute short video that presents data found from various data coordinating centers. At its highest level, a Gene Short just comprises many scenes, each of which having narration and visualizations that is driven by genomic data. The Gene Short's pipeline comprises of four major steps. First, Users can input a gene symbol for a human gene they are interested in a gene shorts for. Secondly, the gene shorts pipeline then retrieves information from various data coordinating centers through API calls on that gene. With the information acquired, the pipeline creates scenes for every partner program. These scenes have AI generated narration as well as visualizations like graphs or video tours of gene pages for common fund program data portals. And lastly, these scenes are stitched together to form a gene short. We can now take a look at each of these steps in more detail. In the data retrieval and parsing step, we use the gene short, uh, excuse me, we use the gene symbol that is inputted by the user to find data from different data coordinating centers through API calls, all accessible through the CFDE workbench data portal. We can, for instance, use the metabolomics workbench to find pathways for a particular gene, or access the Lynx 1000 dataset to find drugs which upregulate or downregulate expression of that particular gene. This data is all stored inside a gene info object, which organizes the information retrieved from each of these programs. Using this information inside this gene info object, then, the pipeline is able to create each scene. Each scene organizes the information from this, their, their particular data coordinating center in a digestible way. The pipeline generates a script based on the data, which is fed to OpenAI's API to create narration. 
The visualizations on each scene are created either using Python packages or by automating the recording of a common fund program data portal. After each gene is created, they are stitched together into a final gene short. Here is a sample video for the gene INSR, or insulin receptor. Welcome to Gene Shorts. In this short video, we present knowledge available from various NIH Common Fund programs about the human gene INSR. The INSR gene, also known as insulin receptor or IR, is a key regulator of insulin signaling and glucose metabolism. It is located on chromosome 19 with a protein coding length of 1,382 amino acids and a gene length of 182,159 nucleotides. Based on median tissue expression provided on the GTEx portal, INSR is highly expressed in the spleen and ovary. INSR is associated with the Donahue syndrome and Alzheimer's disease based on information aggregated from other sources to create the IDG Pharos database. Based on the Lynx L1000 data, drugs like ibrutinib may maximally upregulate the expression of INSR, and drugs including lecithopine and doxorubicin are most likely to downregulate its expression. INSR appears to be involved in 22 human pathways based on pathways and reactions retrieved from the metabolomics workbench. INSR is upregulated in hypothalamus and blood and downregulated in white adipose and hypothalamus tissue in response to endurance exercise based on omics data collected by Motorpack. On the Glygen data portal, we can examine the sites at which INSR is modified, including its glycosylation sites. Thank you for watching this gene short. You can explore more information about INSR and other human genes on the CFDE workbench. This project has many exciting applications for further integration into the common fund uh, ecosystem. The immediate next step would be to enhance video accessibility by adding closed captioning, but we can also expand the scope of the content presented in each gene short. For example, we can create videos for other key resources that have knowledge about genes. An excellent example is to add predictions from Prism Exp for understudied genes. We could also create videos for other entities, such as uh, drugs, metabolites, diseases, assays, and tools. We can further integrate into the ecosystem by adding the video to CFDE Workbench gene pages, other CFDE projects like the Data Distillery Knowledge Graph UI, or to public-facing outlets like social media or the CFDE Workbench YouTube channel. As we wrap up, I would like to acknowledge the Mayan Lab. In particular, I would like to thank Daniel, whose CFDE Gene Partnership Apiter provided valuable insights for various APIs, Giacomo and Stephanie for their mentorship, and of course, Mrs. Jenkins and Dr. Mayan.